Last time on Deadly Premonition. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? The coffee warned me about it. Cut up the speed now. Oh my god. It's broken. Why is this seat so loud? I've been using that one for a long time. Why didn't you get it repaired? Why are these cutscenes at 22 frames per second? Right? It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma liked movies? Of course she did. Everyone loves movies, right? I don't know. I love movies too. I've never been to a movie theater though. What is uh, okay? But again, back to the story. Oh Jesus! Episode one, first day of investigation. I got Angel Isaac. Yeah. I'm gonna get a lot of investigations. Oh, the sugar donut. Someone came all over a glazed donut. Why is there dogs? The fuck is. Oh, Jesus, I got a child calling to me. It's me. It looks just like me. Oh my god. Where's that boy? Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. You're not even talking. Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. Holding my breath. Can you imagine if a child came up to you and said they can't see you if you hold your breath and then you're just like, uh, okay. Why are you in your pajamas? So n -n -n nervous. Just walk! I'm running out of oxygen, but not really. Hey, I have any teeth. They fell out before the infection of whatever this is. And York, you got a lot of inner demons to deal with, huh? Open the door. Who are you? Nom, 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 nom. Your your ability to go to the other side. Anyway, a first aid kit recovers a small amount of health. Wake up. The fu Zach, I heard shoes when he put his feet down. My dreams continues to intensify. But why did it sound like heels when trees. you put your feet down? A carpet with red leaves, a strange doll, and twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't. 
can't remember where. Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. Of course we do. Let's head to the cafeteria, Zach. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. Coffee, coffee. There's coffee, a proper coffee. procedure for everything, right, Zach? Coffee, coffee. Anyway, suitcase, we can wear uh, the happy song grand suit that gives me money times three. Or just this crimson suit. I'm going to wear this because I look fucking nice. I think you could go into the bathroom and shave if I needed to, but I don't have any facial hair grown yet. Like, any that much scruff. Hmm, not bad. Alright, off we go. Look at fucking sweet. Can you imagine if this FBI agent came into your town? He would look normal even though he's talking to himself, and then all of a sudden he's... He's, uh... Rest like, uh... I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. I, I don't care about... So no, I want out. Then he comes out dressed like this. Just the way to the cafeteria? I have a feeling I forgot something, Zach. Believe me, man, I don't- I don't know the map. It's kinda here. I should probably follow the giant red thing that's telling me where to go. But, you know, sometimes I just decided I wanted to run away. Oh, a vending machine. $24 for a lollipop and 35 for crackers! This place is a rip-off! What do you got for drink? Thirteen fifty for milk coffee. Thirty-one fifty for black coffee. The milk dilutes the prices. And why am I getting it out of a vending machine like that that looks like a regular soda machine? Oh, it's the song. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. Oh, the Oxford, the hotel owner. Hello. I finally have Thank company. You, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. I also like to go by Thank Gilf. <laughs> I'm starving. Well, let me at him. Holy Is fucking all table. Right, Mr. Morgan? Yes. It's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. What I is she doing? What the fuck was that animation? Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. Can we turn My the music down? Place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Why did his audio change? You must be hard by yourself. Oh my. Voice actor, get no, to the I other side of the microphone. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. God damn it. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest What the soul. fuck is with everyone's voice? I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly. I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're I can't hear you in my right ear. This is fine. 
It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this. I space. can't even reach what's in the center. Now tell me. What the fuck? Your face. What happened? Can't you mix the audio? During the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my. Well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. My God. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zach, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? No, oh, not at the moment. What is it, Mr. Morgan? Oh, nothing. I just said that these bacon and eggs are the very best I've ever tasted. Oh, really? You flatter me again. Well, Mr. Morgan, Why? I better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. The audio has no idea. In a moment. What am Thank I drinking? I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. It's, Christ. it's like the audio mixing can't decide. One minute they're normal, then it's like heavy on the left, heavy on the right, then it's low. How much milk do you need? You didn't even pour it. That's old lady come. Holy shit. That, Clear as a crisp spring morning. F K in the coffee. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. Uh. <laughs> Let's get going. It never fails. Smile. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, right now my food and everything's all good. Agent Honor. My <laughs> man. You have fun, Polly. I'm going to leave now. So far, so good on the first day of investigation. I think we're kicking ass. For just waking up and having a cup of coffee, I just made $831 on my basic wage unpaid salary. Can of pickles will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. No, oh, the song's back. A police car. Our office is open from 9 to 1700. Don't be late. George, Sheriff George Woodman. So, we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. I can't believe you just left the key right there. Said. Let's take it for a spin. Oh, crap. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Ah. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Also, oh boy. Five break, change view, talk, navigation, signal right, signal left. My w page buttons are my the uh, wipers. Apparently, left control honks and boosts or shift boosts. But the problem with the boost is with a cop car, your sirens go when you're boosting. I also got the master key. And I got a flare if I ever need to call a car. What the hell was wrong with the car? What bird just flew by? I'm so confused. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office. Yes, York. I just want to see something. I'm 
When it's launched, a patrol car will come. It's an emergency. Okay, so I have... Why is this one yellow? This one might... Because I have one, like, special car from DLC. What if I use this one? I need a car! I thought a car was coming down. <laughs> sure. This would be better than that fucking cop car. Why? Why does it make this noise? What went wrong? Jesus Christ! The audio broke, that's for sure. Oh. Oh, no. I don't want to drive with this constantly going. So, so. What about those bonus features uh, in DVDs nowadays? Oh, Jesus Christ. The no bonus Why? Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. What went wrong? So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first of it? Hmm? Why? Why won't exactly. it stop? Let's finish our chat later. Let's take a walk around here. My ears. Why does it, like, any car, or even the police car was about to do it. Oh, jeez. Christ. Oh, Jesus! It's my favorite song. Zach, up from where we left off. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s. I'd love to hear what you're talking about. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder. The masterpiece! Do you remember the first video that we watched? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video scale of Andy spent hours there? Just trying to find a good movie to play. Okay, Let's continue our chat. What? I. This. Get out of the car! <laughs> oh, no. And there's a lot of driving parts, too. Oh, God. A fine building for such a small town. The exterior would... Why did it skip? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Just doing my job. I just... Well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Mm -mm -mm. Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but... I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. You shitting me, Thomas? Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay. Let me know when things are ready. Oh my god. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type. Totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Can I go back outside for a sec? Can't leave now. Damn it. I want to see... Try to do something that would be, uh, th th I don't know, people said would be the fix. I might have to end up resetting the game anyway, but I won't know until I try. 
My god, there's other people that work here? This is probably has nothing to do with the investigation. I gotta look around for a key for Thomas. Water. I don't think it's this one. I don't remember what the hell the key actually is supposed to be because it's been years since I played anyway, so. It has nothing to do with the investigation. I have everything to do with it. Thank you. Oh, I could go to sleep here. Good. Imagine. Hopefully we'll be bringing in the culprit soon. That mean I'll be. That mean the end of our little vacation here. Dripping water. Fix it. Sprinting around the storage. Here's another key. Pointy tail flying squirrel keys. A raincoat? Doesn't look like it's been used much, even though it rains here pretty often. What waste of nice fabric, eh, Zach? Hmm. A raincoat. Attacked and a man with a red raincoat. I can shave here. Imagine going into your own per like office, or somebody's office, and just start shaving in their kitchen. A turkey sandwich. The card of a turkey sandwich. Who the hell wants a card of a turkey sandwich? Give me the turkey sandwich. Zach, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zach? I got a dumbbell. Who the fuck's Arnold? It's me. What's... That's the uh, locker rooms? Hey, Arnold, are you in the locker room? Just like a dumbbell? I'm finding a lot of different keys that we are going to be handing to him, being like, is this it? Nothing. Change your outfit in the locker room? Who would have thought? Oh, hey. Hi. Hello there, Emily. Could you perhaps show me around the office before the meeting starts? I'm sorry, York. I could. I got my hands full. Could you ask Thomas? I don't think that's a good idea. Why? What's going on? He lost the keys to the cabin with the file and asked me to take a look around the office. I hope it doesn't take too long. Info gathering bonus. George, do you work out every day? Of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. But I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since Oh my yesterday. god. I... You mean a training this... buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. Oh you see my Arnold god. Around, I see what you're doing know, will here. You? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. Lost Arnold, start. Uh, Agent Morgan, do you want something? Here, I found Arnold. George, I found Arnold. Really? He was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. 
That's not funny at all. Yo. Oh. Actually, a shake weight. <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Uh, here's a little something to show you my appreciation. And then he shows me a strong hand. Good, he gave me a card. So that makes us even. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. No changes to how we what work together. What the fuck? Just bear that in mind. I don't... Zach, <laughs> you need some friends who aren't so dumb. Aha! Bigger guns. What the fuck? Uh, 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 gotta work the fuck out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's me. I was like, who's running at me? It's me. Shit, he's insane. Rain from the morning until evening. The rainy weather hindered our progress. I'm glad I checked the forecast today. Can't leave now. Of course, it has nothing to do with the investigation. He did it all along. Find the key? I don't know. I have a lot of keys. How about the master key? I'm sorry, thank and thank you. I really appreciate it, but right now we gotta find the key. What? My master key isn't good enough for you? You found the key. Is this the one you were looking for? Uh, no. This is a gray squirrel. Sorry, that's not the key. Nothing particularly special about the gray squirrel, I'm afraid. You can find them in the U.S. Okay, I'm Canada, not here for a lesson. Too. I'm not playing Animal Crossing. The gray squirrel. What was I thinking? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Southern flying squirrel. None of them are southern, but... Maybe one of these are. I don't even remember. I'll just hand it to him. He'll give me some fucking lesson on it, I guess. You found the key. I hope so. I hope so. Uh, no. This is a sugar glider. Sorry, wrong key. God the sugar it. glider is a small gliding possum. It has shorter hair and a longer, column-like tail. You can really see its muscle definition on this image, can't you? But we're yeah. looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Zach, can you tell these things apart? Only by the what's written on them. I got this other one, but again, it's not the southern one, but you know what? You found the key. I think so. But we're looking for a southern... Okay, it wasn't that. <laughs> Run around some more. It was. <laughs> I didn't... No, stop. Yo, stop pushing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Say, 10 millimeter bullets, auto bullets. What gun do you think I have? I can't remember if it was in like maybe a box or something. I don't know. You don't have a key hiding in here, do you? Really weird why I'd be in here. This is a, a curvy tailed flying squirrel. This might be it because this is golden. How do you have it down here if this is the one? Because I just shoulder charge every door known to man. found the key. That's the right one. Yes. A My Southern god. Squirrel. I Thank found so it. Much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here and we've cracked a big case already. I salute you. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18. Anna Graham. She just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the AMG diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Oh, God. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. What the fuck is that? After all, it's a small you see town this child? With low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've oh my god. Taste of the biscuit I know there's a thing going on with this biscuit. Where in town can I get these? Oh, actually... I... Well... I... I baked them myself. I'll take a dozen. Hmm. That's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? We're very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. And the coffee. Balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. Oh, I'm glad. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, Thomas keep making biscuits. Stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. Well, I'm only going to test getting in that car. A small town police investigation. But our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. Oh, yeah. I care about this tiny circular biscuit. 